Sex at 38. I don't want to wash the sheets. It would lose the kelp, the duck potatoes, the fish. I want to wake inside the smells of the lake, a homeopathic tincture of your sun lotion. I know, hope springs eternal idiot. Our tomorrow will feel nothing like this. A loss of self but hard to mow row is tomorrow's field of weeds. Life's forwards, memory lives backwards from here, now. Let me drowse in the scents of muskgrass and yellow pond lilies. Believe in how water holds us as we swim. My arms into yours as finding sleeves for my own arm hairs and slide into the knees and your torso into mine. Our legs and feet perfect enough fits. Lying behind you, I'm the big spoon with my fingers laced through your hair. I could love you down to your particular whistle squeak, body quake breath. And when I wrap my scarf around you and me, when I lean in, I marry you again and again and again. That was from Sex and Sevens from Above Ground. And the next piece is the opening poem of a book which will come out in October or September. In the room grown dark. There's something that isn't intention. As surely as anything has atoms or fields or vibrations, there's a pressing. The ears filled with silence want more of what they have. Unplugging the space heater, a blue reaches back as the gap between the plug and the outlet increase. The small lit flare looks like panic. It isn't. The arc completed seems like success. It isn't. It falters at the holding of the connection with you. But even electricity wants to continue.